All right, guys, there it is. The Vito Pro Pack, TPXL. All right, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the TP4B compared to the TPXL. I really love my TP4B. It's done great this whole last summer and most of all this winter. And uh, it held all the tools. Its layout is very similar to this one, except this one obviously has a little bit more height and a little more depth. And uh, it holds pretty much about the same stuff, except it adds the uh, iPad on the back there and uh, it protects your equipment. We have a tape measure clip here on the front. The bag has zippers that come down halfway. And then Velcro here holds it in place, protecting pretty much everything that's inside there. The front is uh, waterproof, keeps the rain out. On the outside here is where I put some of my tools that uh, I use the most and are as less likely to get lost. All right, on the outside here, I got a caliper, paint marker, stainless steel wire brush, my inspection mirror, my magnetic light carabined on there. Got the uh, meter wire tied on to the tape clip and the uh, D-ring there. Coming around to the back here, I've got my tablet. This will hold a full-size iPad. It has a little strap here in case you got a lot of crap in there and it's all jammed in. Uh, so you've got that there. That comes in pretty handy. The material is pretty thick here and I would say it's probably waterproof. The uh, coverage is pretty much all in line, keeping any weather out of the sides. Then as uh, far as this strap here, I'm not really sure why they got it there. You could use it to put your uh, shoulder strap there in the back. But for me, I end up using a little carabiner here and I just took it on the D-ring and that uh, helps keep it up out of the dirt. Moving around the side here, got my lock out. I've got my short six foot tape measure. Got some electrical tape. Got my little tile, my magnetizer, my right angle tool, and my refrigeration wrench. So none of those items are likely to fall out or get lost. So we can open this up here like this. Look in the back. And then the first thing we've got on top here is our tray. We've got a magnet here on the side, place here where you can put your wire nuts and things like that. It's a pretty good size area. It's not huge, huge mungus, but it uh, will fit a decent size uh, case in there. When you're looking at the zippers and whether or not they're going to be secure to uh, tear out or not, they did a pretty good job making sure that they uh, aren't getting a lot of tension on it when it's flipped back. But going on the inside here, this is what I use for pretty much 95% of all my calls. So ultimately do I need to go get something different. I like my 12 volt. This does pretty much everything I need for service. Got my Irwin socket set style ordeal here. It's just like the Klein, only it's smaller and not as pretty. Got the utility knife, a little stubby. Got my custom made jumper cables here. Stepping drill bit, the valve core depressor tools. When you're on those rooftop units, I have the valve cores that can't be removed. This depresses them all the way. Little brush. Two offset wrenches, your half inch, seven sixteenths, three eighths, and nine sixteenths. Quarter inch and five sixteenths. And if that doesn't reach, you got a little quarter inch there. Got two extensions, one with my number two Phillips and one with my reversible 5 16 quarter inch chuck. Little Klein screwdriver. I uh, had that fall off, so I went ahead and grinded that flush so that works out well. Got a marker in there. My magnetic door switch. My stubby gauges, I had to put one face down and one out so that they would fit. Got uh, offset uh, Klein side snips. The small six inch Knipix. Some Eklund uh, Allen wrenches. Some Milwaukee strippers. Klein crimpers. Weeha. Electrical screwdriver, the Baco 8-inch wrench, 
Klein reversible screwdriver, the other bit, which is the number one, and the 316 straight for it. The Klein HVAC screwdriver, eight and one or whatever. Got the Kinepics, uh, I think these are the 10 inch. Some more Kinepics, also 10 inch. Seven sixteenths and half inch. Got the Klein straight head uh, screw starter. Three eighths chuck for my extensions. Got a pipe cutter. Some nylog. Some wire ties. And then inside the bag, you've got a little strap so that you can cut this thing on a I-beam or whatever you've got to strap it to if you can't leave it down there on the floor uh, where you're working at. Looking down from the top here, we got four spots for tools in the back here. This is the real rigid, strong uh, material that you're used to. Same thing with the next pocket down below. And then you've got the four spots here. One, two, three, four across there. The side pockets that you've seen there and there. Then you've got the spandexy type pocket here, here, and here. Then you've got four right along the front. Then you've got the ones here that can be Velcroed shut with a snap right there. So if you weren't wanting to use it, you could get it up out of the way. This would work good if you're an electrician. You could put uh, your wire nuts and stuff in there. You can get quick access into them and get in and get out. The whole point of this thing is that you can get right into your tools, you can see that they're there, whether they're missing, and uh, you can get right to them quickly. That's what I love about the bag. Basically when it's uh, all filled up, it doesn't fall over, it holds up really well. It's got the really nice polypropylene base here that keeps everything sturdy and dry. And then in the very bottom, if you want, like I did, you can actually keep some of your extra uh, wire and wire ties and some of your other gizmos and gadgets for testing purposes. So you've got a, a spot down there that's probably about a half an inch or so of uh, area that you could actually put underneath there. You'll have to dig for it, but uh, it does have an area there that you can store some more things. You know, compared to the TP4B, it does end up being a little more heavier, but my stuff is protected. Um, this thing worked out great because you were able to get right into you know, when you're working at a restaurant, you can slide this underneath the counter, whatever the case, and you were able to do what you needed to do. This here, I haven't had really any issues with it yet at all. Um, it protects the tools and it makes it easier. For our new guys out there, this is my first bag I had when I started about 25 years ago. This thing is really a electrician or a uh, carpenter bag. You know, I had my flashlight in there and stuff. This thing lasted forever. It's been sitting down here in the basement, kind of retired, taking it easy. Uh, you know, one of the few things that are made in America, and this thing held up really awesome. So if you guys don't have $150 to drop on a bag like that, and $80 is still too much for that, you guys can pick up something like this for about $30 to $40, somewhere in that ballpark. Pretty much all the tools you see here, 90 some percent, 95% of my calls can all be ran with everything you've seen here. Every now and again, I'll have to make a trip out to the truck, but that's just one less thing for me to lose. All these tools and more are listed in my kits down below in the description area. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can click on those. I'll take you to Amazon and you can get it for the same price as if you would have bought it directly to it. I pretty much have taken the time to round everything up that I found to be the best quality and the most reliable and put it all in one place for you to see. So that's a basic rundown of the bag. It's got a total of three tape measure spots and uh, it's been really awesome so far. Uh, only thing you know you got to watch out for that you want to make sure this is out here when you're carrying it otherwise it might dig into your ribs like it does on mine and uh, they give you a really nice strap here it's got the grip area here and the really strong uh, braided web here so it's a heck of a good bag I've been really happy with it so far and uh, it has the five years zero downtime warranty make sure you purchase it at a authorized retailer uh, online, True Tech Tools is one of them, and there's a few others out there, but make sure wherever you buy it at that it's their actual authorized dealer. You can find that out on Vito's uh, website. There's certain vendors on Amazon that you don't want to buy from. Uh, same thing online because there's actual counterfeit bags out there, believe it or not. The things that I would like to see done differently. I wish there was a way to mount this 
so that it'd be out of your way a little easier. Maybe a piece of Velcro, something like that, stick it right on the back. They used to have that hook thing, which would have been kind of cool. Like I said, I still don't know what this is for. I think that's just gonna get snagged on stuff. It's kind of silly, I think. And the tape measure spots. There's a lot of real estate right there that's gotten wasted that could be used for more pockets like this right here. I think they really screwed up when they didn't uh, put the pockets there and they put those three freaking tape measures. It's the only thing I think is kind of stupid. If they would have kept it similar to the way the TP4 was and actually have something long like that right there, that would have been awesome because I mean that uh, would have got you know quite a few extra tools and I wouldn't have had to put them on the inside. Whereas before I was able to put those stubby gauges out here and they never fell out. So that's the only disappointing things on the bag is just basically the overdone tape measure stuff. I think that's just pure waste. There might have been a reason for it is all I can assume that it had something to do with it trying to secure the bag. Uh, to secure things in place possibly is all I can think but you know who's gonna put a tape measure here on the front when you're gonna get into the bag it's gonna go flying as soon as you do it so that's a little little silly you know what I mean so same thing back here same thing twice there just was no real need for these uh, it'd been great to have had more of these little pockets back here on the outside other than that it's uh, an awesome bag I've been really happy with it and so far so good so it's a little bit heavy but uh, my stuff's protected. I had the MC bag that worked out okay, but you know, it was a little thicker and it ate up more room. It also had two sets of flaps to have to move around to get to, whereas here it's just one in and one out. So if you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.